Hello friends and loved ones. Welcome once again to Obape's Recipes. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook the most delicious jollof and spaghetti. Okay, if you haven't tried this recipe and this is your first time, I trust me, you're going to fall in love with this food right here. So please don't go nowhere. Take your seat and come with me. Let's start cooking. All right, friends. So to get started, you need to grab all your vegetables. Yes, and I'm using here carrots and green pepper. But you have to wash them very, very nice, okay? Yeah, and with this recipe, you can use red bell pepper as well, okay? You can use green beans. All right, so you can use any vegetables of your preference. So next, after we wash our vegetables, I'm going to peel off my carrots because I want it to look very nice and clean. And after we clean all, I'm just going to get my cutting board ready and we're going to start cutting our vegetables. Mm, in fact, this jollof rice is going to taste really amazing. If you are a big fan of jollof, hmm, in fact, leave your comment down below, okay? And show me how you cook your jollof rice. I really really love jollof rice this recipe is like you know really popular for west african countries we eat a lot of you know rice and we have all kinds of recipe for rice so this is my favorite jollof recipe and i just want to share with you okay so don't miss out this recipe because you will learn a lot okay everyone has a unique way of making jollof rice and i believe this is one of them that you truly want to learn so you can make it for the special someone or even your family okay yeah so i have here one large onion and i divided it into two i'm gonna cut them in the different shapes and i will use them differently all right, so let's go ahead and set our pot ready. So I have here my oil and I'm using olive oil. You can use any cooking oil of your choice. And I just turned my stove into a medium heat. And I just added my onion. So we're going to let the onion cook for at least two minutes. All right, friends. So we're going to add tomato sauce and tomato paste. That is what I really love to add when I cook my jollof rice. My tomato sauce is about 16 ounces and tomato paste is only 6 ounces. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and open them and after we are done, just set it aside for now. Alright friends, so I have here blended tomato, pepper, garlic and onion. Okay friends, so let's go ahead and check our onion. So it's been cooking about 2 minutes. And it looks really nice so I just added my tomato paste and we're just gonna let it cook for only five minutes yes so after five minutes just go ahead and add your blended tomato onion garlic and pepper okay and then add your tomato sauce as well and please stir them really well and make sure that you cover so you don't get it all over your stove because it's gonna look messy and you don't want that so cover and let it cook for about 30 minutes so after 30 minutes you can just add any spices of your choice i know wherever you are you can find a really nice spices for your jollof rice especially in ghana you have all the spices okay <laughs> yeah so i just added my salt in here and i'm gonna cover it back again and have it cook for extra 30 minutes because you have to cook this stew really really well okay so on this side we're gonna start preparing our spaghetti remember i told you you're gonna add some spaghetti in there yeah so i'm using the thin spaghetti you can find this anywhere okay any grocery shop you can find so after your oil gets really hot just go ahead and break them into small cubes you know and then add it in here so we're gonna fry this into a very brownish you know like goldish color that is how you can tell that it is ready so you're gonna see in a minute so just like that you know it is ready just go ahead and remove and just add it in your stew okay yeah so as you can tell this stew has been cooking really nice and it has been an hour so far so i'm just gonna go ahead and add my spaghetti right here and please make sure that you stir very well meanwhile i just washed my rice right here and this is about three cups of mandi rice 
I just sent some of this rice to Ghana and it's going to arrive soon. You know, due to COVID-19 cases, so the shipping is really, really slow. So I really apologize if you're in Ghana, you will see this rice very soon. Also, if you are in the US or Europe, I'm going to send this on Amazon. So you should be able to order online. Thank you so much, friends. So next, I just added my onion and I'm going to add my chicken broth or chicken stock in here. So after we added that, it should be enough, okay? So I'm not going to add any water. I'm just going to taste and see how, you know, the salt is. And I think it tastes absolutely fine, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and cover it and lower the heat and have it simmer until it is done. But you have to gradually stir this rice so you don't burn it. Next, I have here my vegetable. That is my green pepper and carrot. I always like to add them at the end you know because i just want to get like a really crunchy carrot and pe green pepper in there i don't like my vegetables to be too soft but if you want it to be too soft you can add it in the stew while you're cooking it okay but you know when you add it to the rice at this point it tastes really nice i think it gives like the rice extra and very nice aroma too so i just you know hope that you try this recipe so friends, our jollof rice is ready. And of course, mandi rice is the best rice. Remember, every basmati rice does not taste the same. You have to remember that, okay? So I have here my rice and I'm going to serve it right here. Ah, jollof rice, yeah, yeah, kono. You say, before you know, everything smells really nice, Ankasa. How I wish I can share this with you. And after, you know, everything is nicely served, I'm going to add my chicken in here. Or you can add, you know, your fried turkey or your fish. And I'm just garnishing this with some green pepper and green onion, friends. Just like that. Jello for now, bing. I am so palatable and I am so presentable as well. We will be our bow and chamber slanners will be deep. And anybody just says and say, you have cooked a really beautiful dish. And also, you can add a little bit of salad on the side to complete it. And do you know what I really like about this jello? I see her. If you are that person that you like i see it please leave me some comment down below because i know i'm not the only person okay <laughs> that is my favorite part of the rice yeah so thank you so much friends for watching if you really enjoyed this video kindly share for me and like and comment okay so all your friends and family can have a piece of this recipe as well until i come your way stay safe stay joyful and have a blessed day